we live. We live. I think we got a whole. I kind of fucked it up. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Got to get motivated a little bit. Right. Yeah. All right, all, right, all, right. all right. Welcome to Try and Hip Hop Podcast. We appreciate y'all checking us out again. This oh. is your man Kurt, and this is Howard. This is episode one eighty four, right? One eighty four, Nick. You know I'm getting up there. Look, look, look. They wait till right when we start. Yeah, they are like, man, I'll try to get the same. <laughs> yeah, new name, same shit. Right. The Facebook mother shit. They like, up. Oh, they lie. Hit yeah, the button. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, they lie to get a guy. Get these niggas. Yeah, down. man. Dang. What's up, R two G two? In the house, Reggie Reg in the building. Reg in the house. We appreciate you, brother. Uh, always, always checking in with us. You know what I mean. Thank you for doing that. Um, so how was your week, sir? I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Damn, this was not the best week. Dang, son. <laughs> he's like, man, nigga, yeah. fuck us. <laughs> yeah, man, man, this was not the best week. Um, you know. Had to go to court, you know. Oh, dang, you caught a body? Hey, you know, you know, it's one of the things, you know, you got you don't want to snitch on yourself, you know. But yeah, let's, yeah, let's yeah. just say it's a guy sleeping with the fishes. You, you know, know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah. But, yeah, I did have to go to court over something. I ain't going to talk about it. But it was, you know, yeah, yeah it's a lot. But, um, you know, on the bright side, you know, I had a good week as far as employment because I am kind of looking and, uh, you know, I had a good interview, uh, okay. so, you know, uh, and they take me to the next level on that interview, so I'm getting a second interview. All right, so, all right, uh, all right. So, yeah, I'm happy about that. Um, other than that, you know, we got a lot of stuff to talk about on the show, but how was your week? Uh, week? Um, it's all right. I, nothing, you know, spectacular happened. Um, you know, I had to, like, Friday, yeah, yesterday, in the beginning of you know, some bullshit that went on. Yeah. Um, I had to, you know what I'm saying, not to get too personal. Yeah. I had to do something for my aunt and whatnot. Oh, okay. And okay. And it required, like, you know, certain parties and yeah. stuff and third. So, and a little touchy subject came up about, you know, the drab and all yeah, that shit. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I had to... That's yeah, a big had issue, to, man. Yeah, I had to leave because it was yeah. like, yo, I was about to... Man, I was about to explode. Dude. Right, so right. I was like, yeah, let me get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> you, know, you, right. see, you know, I'm already big and black, too. Yeah. <laughs> and they gonna be like, yeah. Right. Yeah, somebody come shoot this nigga. Yeah, I'm yeah, telling you, you know man. what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, you. nah. Yeah, I'm get caught up in that. Yeah, I'm allergic to the bullets now. <laughs> like, Kurt, why you the only one on the show? Well, yeah, you man. know, it's a long story. You know, press up how it, you know. <laughs> damn, damn shame how they did how we did. <laughs> we got Howie live from Rikers Island. Yeah, that's, that's a damn shame how they got Howie. <laughs> Have a little box in the upper corner yeah, showing your picture. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get, yeah, I'm gonna get out. <laughs> I'm gonna get out. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's what's up, man. Um, so yeah, did you uh, have anything else to talk about about your week this week? Ah, uh, nah, man. We, just, we just, hey, man, we here, man. Okay, we, okay. We lucky to be alive. Yeah, we man. Blessed to be alive. Using Blessed. The, you know, using the in, you know, the. The faculties of our limbs. Yeah, man. We have the eyesight and stuff. So, man, we blessed, man. We got the eyesight. Yes, that's, that's right. <laughs> but yeah, man, we, um, again, we appreciate y'all. Anybody who's uh, checking us out, please don't forget, hit the buttons. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. All right. So, um, got a few things we want to announce as far as you know people who may have been passed on or um you know not doing too good so we got to uh, mention the death of uh the big kingpin out of New York Alpo you know that happened about a week ago right after our last podcast oh so, i want to shout out uh the De- nail he actually was one of the first on our site to really break with the post. So I want to yeah. shout it. I want to give him a quick shout yeah, out. Yeah, I don't shout out to Danelle, man. That's and, my dude, um, man. He be hitting me up with some posts sometimes. So Yeah, yeah. so I want to shout him out, man. That that shit crazy. I mean, especially, you know, he ran he ran that way, you know, so but uh, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I mean, no, 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 you good, but you know, Alpo was a pretty big kind of kingpin in New York. Um and uh supposedly his car or something like that got shot up and so uh 
you know, some people are like kind of sad to hear about it, but some people are kind of looking at it like, well, you know, you get what you deserve. Well, you know, a lot, you of, a lot of the things that people were saying that like he really kind of, from from what I gathered, like he was really out there slipping when this happened. Okay, okay. Because like for for him to be out at that time of night. And, so it happened and kind it, of late at night. Yeah. It, okay. Well, it was in the, well, technically it was in the morning. Okay. You know, was it was say, still Halloween, but it but the day was Halloween. That okay. day, it okay. turned Halloween. So it's like, yeah, you don't really be out there, you know, especially with that, that energy on the right. holiday anyway. Right. Yeah, you don't be out there like that. With, you know. Well, I, I kind of always assumed that by this point, he had kind of gotten out of the game. I didn't know. I always heard about him, you know, when I lived in New York. You know, some rappers mentioned him in their rhymes, you know. Yeah. Because he was very well known. And um, I just assumed by this time, in 2021, I'm like, you know, he's been talked about since like the 80s and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, he got to be out of the game. So when they said he got shot, I'm like, wait a minute, he's still out there in the streets doing some street stuff? Yeah, so I don't know. I just, I guess, I thought he was just gone. Well, a lot of people, you know, what I'm saying it's just, it's just really sad that like I, I ain't no street dude, I ain't no jail dude, I ain't none of that, I ain't none of that. But you know, it's just things to move so quick, especially when it comes to this whole, you know, yeah, man, you know, things move so quick. Like people think. People be getting out of jail. They go to jail in ninety, and they get out, and they be thinking like it's still nineteen. Like nah, <laughs> right. it's twenty twenty one. Right, right. It's a whole and, different world. Right shit and change. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, even when you in it, when you in the like, I'm when I'm saying in it, I mean like in the world. Right. And when I mean in the world, I mean like just living day to day. I ain't talking about you know you can take it how you want to, but you know, shit, it's still hard for you know you to really keep up. I mean, we got all types of shit going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like every day, every, every, you know, like, hell, even in the 90s, like, computer come out, six months later, another computer come out, and that one you get is outdated, or, you know, you take this one. You know what I'm saying? Like, a week ago, like, this, not saying this is the shit now, obviously, but like this is this thread is the shit, you know, right, right. Like a week ago, but then the next week, like, nah, yeah. someone don't just, like it, things is just so quick. I'm telling you, you know? man, it's crazy, man. But you know, either way, you know, I mean, he he passed on, and you know, we still send some condolences because I'm sure he had a family and yeah, whatnot. You know what I mean? Um, oh, shout out my cousin right there. That's Alex. Alex, all yeah, right. What's up, man. Alex? Appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you checking us out. Um, now there was a a show, a Travis Scott concert called Astro World, um, and uh, some people lost their lives there by getting like trampled on and smothered just from the crowd. Um, now I heard about it on the news, so I didn't know much about it, but the news was just kind of saying, you know, hey, this happened. These people were. Um, killed because of uh, well, you said you heard him say a massacre. <laughs> yeah, I seen it on. But, it was um, on. I was working out. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah, and on um, CNN. Yeah, but you know they, you know how it is in the gym. They got the stuff with the volume off. Right. So, so you, I was yeah. looking, and it's just like a massacre. Eight. That's like well, eight dead ain't a massacre. Yeah. So what the fuck is really going on? And then I yeah, kinda I mean, could, yeah. I guess I look at it on how you die. You know, I don't know. I mean, death is death, but still, yeah. If you but, get shot or stabbed or something, that's kind of more like massacre, but. If you get trampled on, that's just an unfortunate event. No, a massacre is like when motherfuckers get laid, like hundreds of motherfuckers yeah, laid that's out. True. You know that's what I'm saying? Eight ain't right. no massacre. Yeah. Like the start of the war of this nation, they Boston massacre. They did see propaganda back then. It was like five people that got killed. But they make it like a, a yeah. Boston massacre. You know, that's so true. They, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like you that propaganda. More numbers, yeah. yeah. So uh, um, propaganda. Well, you know, regardless, um, you know, I say that to say this, you know, they're saying on the, when I heard it on the news, they kind of made it like, you know, just some people got trampled and, you know, stepped on and lost their lives. Um, they really wouldn't say the cause of it. But, you know, um, after, you know, finding out some information, I'm finding out that, you know, a lot of this might have been Travis Scott's fault. 
supposedly yeah. because supposedly he put up like a tweet or something a post saying that look if you can't get in my show and tickets run out you need to rage you know what i mean and so i don't know but that supposedly he took the tweet down once he saw what happened my thing is it's kind of like the january 6th thing you know it's like you can't just put something out there yeah when you that popular and expect people not to to follow that you know what yeah, i mean you got yeah you gotta take responsibility yeah, so you're gonna take that you know, it's, it's it's really sad but you know i, I yeah. guess that's what he did but supposedly you know that's kind of a a thing you know he has a little bit of a habit of kind of getting his people insightful about stuff like that i don't know you know i'm just this is what i hear so um you know, as a result, some people lost their lives. So, you know, condolences to them and their families. Um, so we're going to uh, give them a moment of silence. But also, we want to keep our prayers up for Kango Kid from UTFO. He um, has been in the hospital for like a couple of weeks now. He was in there. He has, he's fighting cancer. And basically, he went in about two weeks ago, and they were giving him a procedure. And they were thinking, you know, after the procedure, he'd be good. But he wound up being in there for another week and a half. And then they were like, we got to give you a second procedure. So, you know, he's kind of going through two procedures now. But um, he posted a couple of pictures online from his hospital bed and showed that um, one of his founding members from UTFO, um, Dr. Ice, came to visit him. Okay. So that was dope. You know, and a bunch of other people showed him love coming to visit him. But that was one of the more notable ones. You know what I mean? Just seeing him and Dr. Ice reunited after all this time. Um, so let's, um, give everybody, you know, just kind of a moment of silence and pay our respects. All right. Thank y'all for doing that. We appreciate you. So, um, you know, it's, uh, Kango Kid actually was here. Um, somewhere between six to ten months ago. Okay. Uh, yeah, he had done a, a little show um, at one of the little clubs around here where okay. he was like, you know, just DJing or hosting. I think the show, not DJing, just kind of hosting and okay, you fun. know, doing. It was like an old school thing, like an eighties party or something like that. You know, Ooh. so I wanted to go, but I didn't. You know, couldn't uh, make it at the time. But um, shout out to Kango Kid, and I hope he uh, continues to pull through. You know, he he's doing his thing. All right, so um, you got a question of the day for us today. What's your question, question of the day? Of the day is going off the uh, the Kanye and uh, yeah, the Kanye interview. Is Kanye and Drake the Prince versus Michael of mm. this generation? Oh, okay, okay. Specifically, hip hop. Right. Are they? Are they the Prince versus Michael Jackson of hip hop? Um, I don't know. That's a good one, man. I haven't thought about it like that, but um, I could kind of see that. Yeah, I, I could kind of see that. I could see both of them being at that pinnacle level of their careers, and you know, both of them have been in the game for a while. Kanye, uh, considerably longer, because Kanye's been here, I think, since the nineties. If I remember correctly. Well didn't he come in in the was it late nineties? Well he had some stuff. He had some stuff in the in the nineties, like on the production side, but I think he didn't really come out out. Yeah. His maybe official two thousand four. Like, yeah. His official <clears throat> albums didn't start dropping at that like point. Like college dropout came out, you know, around that time. But yeah, like you said, I think we might have heard a little something from him at that point, you know. Um, so yeah, you know, that's, that's neither here nor there, but you know, I do think, um, Kanye was out first, but Drake was like right behind him. Yeah. Drake um, came out in 2006. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I guess I could see that, you know, if I had to, well, damn, who would be Prince and who would be Michael? I guess oh, Prince? Kanye would be Michael, right? Hell no. No? Kanye would be Prince. Let you me tell Kanye you why. Be, why. Let me tell you what. Okay. So... I looked at the interview, and we'll talk about that later. But there's a lot of things I took from that interview that he said. What what what's Prince's birthday? Is is Prince a Gemini? I'm not sure. I know Mike's birthday. I know his is um 
uh, June, no, August, August 29th. Dang, Mark Leo. Yeah, I don't remember what um, Prince's birthday is. I apologize. But anyway, I think with the inner energy, especially with the intro, Nori did like, oh, you're the far, the artist formerly known as Kanye West. Uh-huh. Okay, Prince also had the artist formerly known as Prince. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Prince gave, gave, well, I'm going to say that's what Kanye said on the show. Mm -hmm. Gave him a track. You know, that whole, you know, I'm going to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 that right, was right. A Prince okay, track. okay. So, I mean, I, and then on top of that, the fact that um, Kanye is really, really multifaceted. He's a producer. He's a rapper. Yeah, uh, excuse me, an MC. An artist. An artist, <laughs> yes. He's an artist, a very talented artist. He also dabbled his, and he's dabbling his hands in other stuff. He's not just, he's not just somebody to sing. You see, because I, that's why I would do. Not now. When I say this, I don't want people to be like you're equating Drake to Michael Jackson. No, that's not what I'm saying. Right. Michael Jackson and Drake do have some similarities because Drake has people building him, right? Building around his sound. Yeah, that's true. And building him. That's what. That's what Mike had. You know. I mean, Mike definitely had the talent, the, yeah. the singing and stuff. You know, and same with Drake. Drake got the talent, the rap, the sing, and all that other stuff. Um, but the thing of it is, it's just I think I think that's what it, I think that's what they both represent in this time. Yeah, my, yeah, Kanye is definitely like new age. You're right. I, 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 the more you said that, I got you. And yeah, like Drake yeah. is kind of like new age right. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Not yeah, necessarily not like, not yeah, not equivalent. Not I'm just talking. That. Now, yeah, yeah. Let's be clear. You know, somebody. Let's be clear because like, I don't want. Dare you? Oh, you <laughs> niggas up there saying nothing. Y'all trying to? No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, for what they doing and what they got going on, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. I think. I think that's where we at. Right. I'm, I I could agree with that. You know, mm -hmm. um, based on who Prince was and how he was about. His music, I, I agree. Kanye uh, uh, fits that. You know, when I think about Prince, remember he had tattooed slave on his face because mm -hmm. he felt like he was a slave and they wouldn't let him do it. Kanye's fighting for stuff like that, too. He's like, I don't want to be stuck where I want to be able to have that freedom. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he, Kanye is more so in that kind of fight. So that also makes sense. You know what I mean? So... My man be on something. You know yeah, what I mean? He be hey, on to something. Say with a kid. You never know. You know what I'm saying? You know, you never know. Yeah, you never know. You never know. My first thought was the opposite. So I got you. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, so yeah. Y'all let us know what y'all think. You know, based on hip hop, would they be like the Prince and Michael of hip hop? You know what I mean? <clears throat> and uh, I can kind of agree with that because I don't really think there's anybody else that's kind of, you know, at that level like they are. You yeah, know, at least at least not right, not right. right at the second. Right. I mean, well, I mean, you got a couple of people. I mean, you could argue. Well, nah, not right now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. But it's so just either. crazy with hip hop because we got we got so many greats for just for it just being hip hop. You know what I'm saying? We Absolutely. Got, we got so many greats. It's just crazy. All right, well, um, we can go ahead and jump into some birthdays real quick. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Let me go ahead and mention a few folks. So, um, on November 8th, coming up, we got my man Shine, the bad boy representative. All right, all right. You know, now he's uh, kind of representing the Jewish culture. He's doing his uh, spiritual thing, shall we say. I thought he was Muslim. <clears throat> nah, he, you, you might be thinking of Loon from Bad Boy. Oh, that's yeah, right. He hey, what's up with all these bad Look, boy niggas right, in religion? Mason with the church. Uh, 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 he went to the Jewish faith and Loon went to Islam. The mosque. Right. So, yeah, that, that's kind of weird. Shine. I don't know what Puffy be doing to folks, man. Yeah, <laughs> they be like, I gotta get out of here, man. I gotta go back. If I ever get on Bad Boy, I'm, you know what I'm saying? If I ever get on Bad Boy and stuff and I get off, I'm just gonna be a Satan. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Yo, he drove me crazy, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. Yo, 
Uh, but happy birthday to Shine coming mm-hmm. up on the eighth. Also coming up on the eighth, my man from the Midwest Tech Nine. Stamina. <laughs> yes, sir. With the, the rapid fire flow. Tech bro. Nine. Yes, sir. <laughs> coming up on November 9th, Happy birthday goes to one half of Salt and Pepper. And that is Pepper. All right. Um, also on the same day, my man Sheik Luch from right. the Locks. You, you. Also on November 9th, rest in peace and happy birthday to Big Pun. Yep. Yep. And then also on November 9th, my man Scarface. Face, Face up. up. Yes, sir. The Ghetto Boys represent a lot of group people on the 9th. Um, also on uh, the 9th, Roxanne Shantae. Oh, please Happy birthday believe to it. her, the queen. Please believe You know it. what I mean? Um, <laughs> coming up on the 10th, we got my man Warren G. Happy mm-hmm. birthday to him. Uh, also, the first lady of uh, 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 Rough, Riders. Rough Riders, Eve. Uh, happy birthday to her on the 10th. And then on the 11th, my man, you, you got, got from Wu-Tang. You know Elf. what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, happy birthday to all of them. Let's give them some, uh, maybe some claps. Or oh, yeah. Hold on, we got to, yeah, let me turn. That's my damn. Yeah, y'all just so give me, claps. Yeah, give me one second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, you know, we got we to rig some stuff up. Y'all know how that go, you know. Got to rig it up a little bit. Okay, let me do it one more. Let's do it one more time. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. We got to get the levels. Yeah. It's levels to this shit. Levels to this shit. (laughs) Yeah, man. Again, um, uh, we appreciate anybody. I see we got more people on Instagram. Uh, So I appreciate y'all. You know, we got, you know, people online watching us. So thank y'all for tuning in. Um, if you could, like I said, hit the buttons, like, like share, share, subscribe, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe. Uh, so in the tradition of Brother Umar, you got to say it three times. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. So two um, for four. Right. The two for four, the two for four, D. <laughs> <laughs> yo! I see it in the Man, listen, I was dying when I saw that. I was like, yo! <laughs> And the face that was showing her makeup. Like, yes! you know, you know. Y'all think y'all slick. Mm. I see the subliminals. Mm. The two for four egg. The two for four. And they had the process. Y'all need to come to the school. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Oh, <clears throat> but yeah, so um, shout out to Brother Umar Johnson. Oh, yeah. We're going to give him no, a shout yeah, out. Yeah, no doubt. All right, so music wise, uh, one of the songs I called uh, for last week RJ Payne, Hell's Fury. Did finally get released, and that joint right. is fire. So uh, it's fire. And then there's one other new joint I had this week. Remember Snoop Dogg said he's going to bring New York back, so he dropped the song. Oh, I seen that. Mm-hmm, called, I uh, seen that. I need to listen to that. It's called Murder Music, and uh, it features Benny the Butcher, Jada Kiss, and Busta Rhymes. So, yeah, it's got a and it's got a strong New York sound to it, so I ain't going to lie. It's actually pretty, hitting, hitting hard. So mm-hmm. shout out to Snoop for that. Let's you know clap what I mean? that up. Yeah, New York. Snoop said he's gonna single handedly save New York. And think, this nigga, this was the nigga that kicked the towers down. Right. I mean, not kick the buildings down. Kick the building down. Yeah, yeah let me yeah, let me yeah. change the phrase. That's that. random building. Yeah, cause that, yeah, I don't want. Yeah, yeah. He's on his Godzilla shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, uh, but yeah, luckily they didn't do the towers because that would have kind of looked like damn. Yeah, you know man, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so I'll say that. But yeah, you know, I'm I'm glad that he has a lot of respect for New York because I mean, obviously, New York has a lot of respect for him. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, so uh, from the beginning, you know what I mean? So it should have never been none of that shit anyway. No. Anyway, um, we're gonna get into some topics. Uh, so that was all my music. Um, did you have you heard any other new music that I don't know of? Oh, hip hop was yeah. Nah, I know that. Um, I mean, we could make it a mention. Silk Sonic. Um, oh, yeah. That album's something. supposed to be releasing. When is it? I don't know about the album. I know they released another single or something. Yeah. I think it came. I don't know if it was today or not. Okay. And I forgot the title of it. But anyway. But they have got an official date for the yeah. album. Uh, they were telling me, but I forgot the date. Yeah, and I ain't going to lie. I, I probably copped that because yeah. I like their like style. I think Anderson Pack and... Him and uh, Bruno work well yeah, together. Yeah, they make a I good like team, sh- man. Yeah, I, I, like I don't know style. what delayed the album so much, but they finally got a release date. I want to say it's within the next 30 days, you know what I mean? Right. So, yeah, so shout out to them because they make good music. Yeah, yeah I'm I might give them that. Yeah, I might get that on Vine. Yeah, yeah. So, um, all right. So, first of all, 
little bit of a shout out. You know, Congress just approved that November is Hip Hop History Month. Right. So let's give them a clap for that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give them some credit, you know what I mean? So uh, but, um, now let's why, tear them back. Yeah, let's tear yeah. <laughs> Why November? Yeah, why November? You know why what I mean? not the one of the summer months? Right. Because you know. Hip Hop's birthday is in August, so it's like, why not August? You yeah, know I mean? or Lee. Somewhere like September, like where it's still relatively warm. warm yeah, y'all did, y'all y'all did that on purpose, man. Right. Y'all just like, yeah, just give them November. Mm-hmm. Niggas like the cold. Just put about that. You're like, nah, son, we don't do that shit. Man. Yeah, man. They said did the summer months, man. But my thing is this, you know, too. I'm I'm very happy that they did it, you know, because we, you know, we do need that hip hop history month, some month where you can kind of think about hip hop and re- recognize the history. That it's been through, but I feel like stuff like that and Juneteenth, when they approve all this stuff, it's almost like a little pacifier to keep us calm. So I know y'all want them reparations, but look, here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna give, give you Juneteenth. Yeah, we're gonna give you a date. We're gonna give you a yeah. Go ahead. We're gonna man. give you a bonus. We're gonna give you a month called Hip Hop History. Yeah. We already gave you Black History. So I'm, see, we love you. We're giving you all this good stuff. Yeah. Just don't ask about the reparations. See, this is a full yeah. this is a remember November, the full month. Right. You ain't getting it, you know what I'm saying? Right. And they ain't like February 28th right. and see, impossible. We were thinking about get, you. You know, 28 the possible. 28 the possible. You know. But I just, you know, I, I mean, I just really feel like that has to be pointed out because I feel like lately they've been trying to throw stuff like that at us. Because I mean all of a sudden, you know what I mean? No, we, we've been wanting stuff like rep, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Juneteenth for a long time. Hip hop history should have been done a long time ago. You know what I mean? But all of a sudden, now that Biden's in, he knows that the hot button topic is reparation. So he's like, okay, just to keep him quiet, throw him a couple of holidays and stuff like that. You know, we got them stimulus. So, you know, we, you know, we, we ain't going. We ain't well, going to go too far. Well, speaking of which, man, that's the thing about that, too. Um, you know, a lot of the um, like the elections that happened this past week, or, yeah, this past week with the, um, you know, like the Virginia's actually turning back red. And, yeah. And I guess that, I can't remember that guy, but Yukon, Yukon or something like that. I'm not sure. But anyway, a lot of those, a lot of these, Traditionally, blue states are turning red because people are getting fed up with this shit. Man. Yeah, the whole it goes back and forth, man. Because I mean, when when Trump was in there, it was a whole bunch of red that turned blue. Oh yeah, you know, I Georgia mean, it's turned blue. You yeah, know I mean, it's, it's it I just goes back and forth. Yeah, you know that's mean? all it is. Because yeah. that's what it's going to be like. Yeah, yeah. I I see. Now I will say this. I see like people. You know, I think this is like a temperature check. Right. You know what I'm saying? So people are kind of like, you know what? You know, fuck with them. It's like, we ain't going to do, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, yeah, yeah. you can't, you're not going to expect, I don't expect nothing from the Republicans neither. Right. It really does. Yeah, that's how it happens though, man. Every time, you know, and that's why a lot of black people get fed up with voting and don't even want to bother with the process. Because you know what I mean? <laughs> you, get, you get tossed a good game about what we're going to do and this and that. You know what I mean? What happened to him talking to Ice Cube, you know what I mean, right after the election? Oh, yeah, just let us get in the White House. And after the election's over, we're going to talk about this black America plan. I ain't heard you know it. what I mean? I ain't heard it. I ain't heard it. Ice Cube sitting there by the phone like this. Yeah, they ain't even, I mean, hell, they don't even call him O'Shea. Damn, right. Damn. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, did we talk about this? I think I, Ice Cube turned down a, uh, I think it was a movie project he was supposed to do. Oh, for yeah, nine million because yeah. they had he had the mandatory had to get the the shot yeah, yeah he's like I heard about that nah, yeah. you know Ice Cube ain't no something yeah yeah I mean you I know mean, it that. is what it is see that's what it is a lot of times they think they can buy you you know what I mean we nah, gonna you, you ain't buying you. cubes right. uh, nah. we gonna throw a ton of money at you you ain't gonna be able to say no to this we gonna give you nine million and hell nine million for cubes should be chump yeah man. exactly especially for what he's got going on mm-hmm so, yeah, I mean, he still deserves that bank, but you know, if, if it's going to cost me, you know, taking something that I don't want, I'm not doing it. Nah. You know, so it is what it is, man. 
But um, so you know. But anyway, again, shout out to Congress for the hip hop history oh, month. Yeah, yeah. Supposedly it got approved back over the summer, but we just now hearing about it. So I don't know what the hell's up with that. 